IonQ and Fidelity Center for Applied Technology announced development of scalable quantum state preparation for Monte Carlo algorithms. So this was first announced on May 4th, and what's happening here is, the proposed technique is expected to enable quantum sampling algorithms to scale to high precision, paving the way for a quantum advantage on some practical problems. So essentially, IonQ is in collaboration with Fidelity Center for Applied Technology, and according to them, it's this partnership that is going to help to build an efficient and reliable design as the first crucial step in the application of quantum computing to Monte Carlo methods. So if you're a stupid f***ing piece of sh and have no idea what Monte Carlo methods are, that's alright because I had actually never heard of Monte Carlo methods either. The Monte Carlo method is a computerized mathematical technique that allows people to quantitatively account for risk in forecasting and decision making. Meaning, at its core, the Monte Carlo method is just an algorithm that uses random samples of parameters to explore the behavior of really complex systems. So in other words, this algorithm uses randomness to simulate outcomes of incredibly complex problems. And then, we as humans can examine those outcomes to better understand things like probability when it comes to, say for example, the finance industry. And the first of its kind state preparation technique is scalable and has been demonstrated on INQ's hardware for up to 20 qubits. And what this means is, this achievement will not only benefit financial institutions in tasks like portfolio management, but also other industries like science and engineering where Monte Carlo algorithms are used. You see, when it comes to quantum computers, state preparation is a necessary component of a lot of the algorithms that they use and is fundamental in expediting Monte Carlo methods. Financial institutions depend on Monte Carlo algorithms to understand the relationship between an outcome and multiple variables in complex systems. But the precision is frequently limited by the length of time needed to run the same algorithm repeatedly with different values of variables. However, what's exciting here is that INQ and Fidelity's Technology Center believe that when they run these algorithms on large and accurate quantum computers, this state preparation technique will help these institutions achieve faster results. And straight from INQ's CEO Peter Chapman himself, he said, and I quote, the Fidelity Center of Applied Technology team were early believers in the power of quantum to reshape the field of finance. And we are pleased to announce the development of a first-of-its-kind state preparation technique with them. In finance, accuracy and speed can mean the difference between profit or loss. We believe this technique can provide financial institutions with a tool they need to integrate quantum into their workflow and explore novel ways to inform portfolio engineering, retirement planning, and risk management in even the worst complex of scenarios. So this partnership is actually an extension of INQ's project with the Fidelity Technology team, during which the two groups issued a paper describing how certain generative quantum machine learning algorithms provide advantages over their classical counterparts. And Adam Schwela, the head of emerging technology at the Fidelity Center of Applied Technology, stated, The Monte Carlo Protocol is an integral component of financial planning, as it helps us understand how several correlated variables interact with each other when one element is changed. However, the current state preparation techniques are either theoretical or have some type of deficiency when scaling. Today, we're proud to announce alongside INQ a state preparation algorithm that we believe is scalable and executable on NISQ hardware. So if you're someone who's on the fence about investing in a company like INQ, I think it's important to look at the bigger picture here. Artificial intelligence and quantum computers are more likely than not going to be the norm in the future. And while INQ is still an early player in the game, you have to realize that they also have a contract with the United States Air Force Research Lab, as well as partnerships with companies like Dell, Hyundai, Airbus, and GE Research. 
So lots of exciting stuff is happening and it's announcements like these that really make me proud to be a shareholder in a company that seems to have an incredible future ahead of it. And with that, I think I'll wrap up the video here. Thanks as always, and I'll catch you next time.